Stephanie. Hey, I'm Joe. I'm Gio. I'm Bart, and you're watching Ask the Feels. And today, we got a question from Maddie. So I've been with my boyfriend for a year, and when we last had sex, he said a different girl's name when he came. Every time when I try to bring up the subject, he always avoids it. So I'm starting to lose my trust with him, but I love him so much. What should I do? You need to get to the bottom of it. I would not let him leave that room until I have yeah. an explanation why the fucking name came out of his fucking mouth. But what if it was like he was so horny because the pussy was so good that he was like, Oh, Gwyneth Paltrow! Well, if it's good at the Paltrow, that's fine, but then I need to hear it from his <laughs> mouth saying that, hey, your pussy was so good, it was out of this world that it fucking put me in some trance that I didn't even know what day or year it was. And I'd be like, all right, that makes sense. So you feel like if not, then it could be because he's cheating? I I'm just saying I wouldn't have left that. Like, I wouldn't, that day would not have ended until I got my answer. Without it sounds know. like so fucking weird, too. That it's he, shady. That she yeah. says that she would bring it up and he would avoid it. Because if he didn't have anything to do, like, I would have been embarrassed if I just said, like, oh, fuck. Oh, Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. Katy Perry. Oh, fuck. Who's Katy? Oh, you know, Katy Perry. Like, I kind of fantasize about her from time to time. But then we're also very open and honest people. And at the same time, the reason why she's asking us is because she herself has a hard time being confident. So if you really want this answer, there's really no other way to figure out but to ask him straight up. Right. And your method could go from Gio just, you motherfucker tell me right now we're not leaving this room, <laughs> I lock the door. Every time you bring this up, you're afraid of losing him. Because obviously you sound like you love him like crazy. This is not something that you can bury under the rug either. It's going to be in the back of your mind. You want to prolong this fucking wonder. Or do you want to get to the bottom of this? Yeah, because what's crazy is that I don't know how your brain works, but at least for my own brain, like, I get really fucking creative. And if I have to come up with my own conclusions, that guy is losing. That guy's going to be a piece of shit. And I'm just going to go crazy trying to, like, imagine all these crazy scenarios and I'm not going to be able to sleep. So, I mean, you don't have to be as aggressive as I am. You can just be like, hey, you know what? Like, I love you. I don't want to lose you. But right now, you're leading me to believe that I cannot trust you. And if I can't trust you, then I can't have sex with you. I can't have a relationship with you. Please let me know what's going on, why this happened. Like, I'm not thinking the worst of you. I just need to get to the bottom of it because you yelling someone else's name during sex is not normal and it doesn't happen like 99% of the time with couples. You have to give me an answer that satisfies my logic. I think what she's afraid of though is if her worst fears are true and if, she, if he is cheating. Now she's gonna be confronted with the decision of if she has to stay or leave. Like she obviously really likes him, she wants to stay with him, she wants it to not be true. For so for a lot of people, it's easier to just fucking not deal with it and wish that it's it just goes away and hold on to whatever's like falling apart, but they don't see that it's falling apart. Do you wanna like dig your own grave or do you wanna get to the bottom of this? and save the, the the major hurt in the future and just get hurt now. It's a dark way to look at it. And like, but. what if she's dealing with, because she's already said that every time she brings it up, he, he you know, brushes it off and he never wants to confront that question. Yeah. How do you deal with somebody like that? That, that just won't even answer your question. Like if, you, if you're afraid of confrontation, this is gonna be really hard for you to do. But if you want answers from people, you have to make them suffer. Or you have to make it so that they're losing. There's consequences. Yeah. yeah. You can't just be like, can you tell me? No. Well, you want to go eat? Okay. And you yeah. still hang out. It's like, yeah. it's kind of like, well, what was that whole deal about the other day? I don't know. Let's just fuck. Okay. Like, if you give up and give them everything, they have their cake and eat it too, there's no consequences to their actions. Yeah, because I wouldn't fly with me. If I don't get my answers, then the relationship is over. Me too. Like, for me, if, we, if, if we're building rela a relationship, we're building a bridge, we're building a road, a brick at a time, and if there are any bricks that are left unpaved, the road doesn't get built. So I'm, I'm like, if we're not gonna move forward, there's no way we can stack a brick over air. I need this brick filled. Okay, you filled it, cool, now let's move on. If not, this, this wall, this building, it's not gonna get built and we have to bounce. It's gonna collapse for sure. Yeah. I think that's really hard for a lot of people to do because they live in the moment and they don't see that the actions right now 
is gonna dictate how happy they are in the future, how loving their relationship is. They just want things to go away on its own without any work or growing pains. Hope you guys liked that episode of Ask the Feels. If you guys have any burning questions about love or sex or just anything involving a relationship, go ahead and visit www.askthefeels.com. If you like this video, Never forget to like the video. Also, don't ever miss an episode and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Just subscribe. If you guys would like to see the previous video, check it out. Just like, oh, the Fido spike listening. Oh yeah, you know, like, so don't don't take it where personally, we're like, what the fuck? I've been with them for two years. How can I remember my name? It's like on their radar. They're, you're nothing. Yeah, you're nothing. Like if a grandparent.